Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Jira Cloud tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create backlog in any Kanban project in Jira. So we have already seen how to create backlog in the Scrum project. Now let's understand how to create backlog in the Kanban project in Jira. So we have created two Kanban projects. One is the NextGen project and the classic Kanban. So let's start with the classic Kanban project. And here, if you see, you don't have any backlog option once you create the classic Kanban project. And we basically have to enable the backlog in this particular case. So I've already explained the, uh, you know, steps to enable the backlog, but I'll again explain in this particular tutorial as well. So if you are in the classic Kanban project and you can't see the backlog, so what you have to do is you have to simply go to the three ellipses in the right go to the board settings and in the board settings you will have the columns right so in the columns you simply what you have to do is you have to drag and drop this backlog to the status here in the kanban backlog okay so as soon as you will map this status you will see the backlog has been enabled in the classic kanban project now once we have the backlog we can create the backlog right so once we have this backlog option available i can go to this backlog and i can start creating the backlog and backlog is nothing but the work items that need to be worked upon so in kanban there will be you know work items coming through the tickets or there will be you know like task or story so as of now what i have done is i'm just taking these as tasks tasks and we can simply say these are four tasks that need to be achieved or stories and i can create that in the kanban project as a backlog so if i'll click on create issue here so this is my backlog section and then i can click on create issue and you can see that i have the option to create task story bug right here so i can simply you know select the story and then I can say this is my work item or the story that needs to be worked upon okay and hit enter and you will see that the backlog has been created in this particular project so work item has been created so let me quickly add the others as well so I have added four work items here in the backlog and this backlog is basically now ready and you can you know this is just a sample backlog so in actual scenarios and project there will be you know lots and lots of issues and uh, you know work items in the backlog in the kanban backlog now once your backlog is ready you can you know pick the items for development and you can just drag and drop in selected for development column or section here to basically start working on those items okay so this is your backlog section here and once you select the work item it goes into the selected for development okay so this is how you will create the backlog in the classic Kanban project. Now let's go back to the next gen Kanban project. So I have selected next gen Kanban project and here as well I don't see any backlog option. So let's first go ahead and enable it. So to enable that option we have to go to the project settings in the next gen Kanban project and then we need to go to the uh, sorry to the features okay so once you are in the features you will see that there is a toggle to enable the backlog okay so as soon as i'll switch on this toggle the backlog will be enabled for this particular project as well so i can go to the backlog now and here i can start creating the epic so in the backlog in this particular next gen kanban if say for example the work items that have been uh, arrived to us are the big work items and need to be broken down into smaller pieces so i can start with an epic so i can say you know there is something big that that needs to be worked as it, as the course catalog so i can create an epic and then you know within this epic i can create the issues into the backlog okay so to create a backlog you have this backlog section right which is empty so it's same as we have created in the other project or in other classic Kanban project. So in the drop down, you will see, you know, that at the moment there is just task issue type, but I can enable other issue type in this particular project as well. Okay. So 
that is you know other option that is available but by default only task is available so what i'll do is i'll simply add these items or work items into the task let me add these all right okay so now you can see that the epic these issues because I have selected this one and then created the backlog these issues that I have created are automatically tagged to this particular epic that we have created so if I click on view details you will see that these are the child issues or the tasks that have been created within this course catalog epic right so this is the backlog that has been created for the next gen Kanban project and now if so for example uh, team has started working and they are picking the item they can simply drag and drop these work items that they need to work on on the board and then they can go on the board and these work items will be visible on the board to start working with so now they can progress through these items from to do to in progress and done accordingly and you can also create the issues on the board itself using this create issue option here but to create a backlog you simply have to go to the backlog and within the backlog you have to create the all the work items that need to be developed or worked upon in the kanban project so this is a brief introduction about how you can enable backlog in the kanban project in jira cloud and then how you can create the backlog into the kanban projects in jira cloud so that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.